In case you missed my prior house renovation videos, let me put you up to speed. This was my brother's house and he sadly passed away a few years ago and it has been abandoned since. This was also the house I grew up in. First I started emptying out the house by donating and throwing stuff away. I also sealed the roof and then I hired a lawyer to put the house under my name. And once that was done, I put the utilities under my name and officially began to renovate it. Hey you, I'm in Cabo Rojo in my house. We're gonna do some work here today. The plan is to assemble a closet and finish the other one that we didn't finish. Maybe paint some screens that I didn't do it the last time. So there's a few things that we need to do. Hopefully we can do it between today and tomorrow because we're staying at my sister's house tonight. So we have a little bit of tomorrow and then we'll go home. So yeah, I already put Sergio to work here told him to wash that front right there so we can paint it maybe tomorrow maybe today I'm not sure but at least we're cleaning it whoa I'm getting wet oh let me show you the kitchen because it has been almost completed the sink with the soap dispenser I love this this is the one I have at home it's from Costco and yeah look at that we have to move this outlet so my guy put it there and so he put an extension all the way through here so we can get electricity on the stove so yeah coming along so i want to paint this screen and this one right here because those are the ones missing here the little one and the bottom one this one is brand new so <laughs> i'm trying to save as much money so i use the old one so i just gotta paint it this color right here. This is not working as I hoped because when I did the other screens, I painted them, but they were already this color, so they were easier. This one is white, and even though I use thinner, it's still white, and then the frame in the inside is white, and I can't paint that, so you're gonna see it. But I already spent money on the screen itself because this, the Maya, is new. So I'm kind of stuck with this one, unless I just want to spend more money doing a new screen and throwing this one away. So uh, let's see how it comes out. I'm not too happy about it, but we shall see. We're going to put this under so I can paint this right here such a bootleg project <laughs> it's hard to record and do work at the same time I'm going to try another technique here using the blue tape so I won't paint the screen part because I need to get in here all the way here wow this took a lot of time and effort <laughs> to wrap this so I can get all the way down here and maybe all over here so Hopefully it facilitates the process. While this dries, I'm gonna go help Sergio with the closets because this one is not finished yet. He's putting the handles and then we gotta put shelves too. This closet has been a little bit of a pain. <laughs> not that easy especially me that I need everything like perfectly aligned look who I have here in my house well he thinks this is his house but he's very sweet hi oh you're so cute you're so cute handles are done look at that Ooh, I still got my father's shirts there as samples. And now we are working on the other closet that goes in this room. There's always the screw of the day, el tornillo del día. This one broke right here. He only gave like one or two, like two little twists and it broke and we can't get it out. So. We're leaving it like that. Hopefully it's secure enough. So, wish us luck. Mm -hmm. 
We're on the second module here. That one is done already. That's the packs from Ikea. And so we're doing this one that goes on the side. Okay, we're gonna pause for a second because we are so hungry. We need lunch. Sergio didn't even eat, so he needs breakfast. <laughs> we're leaving this like this and let's go to El Pueblo to eat. So we're in the Pueblo and we're eating at Papa's Pizza. Very popular here in Puerto Rico. And actually the owner went to high school with us. So we kind of know him, which is cool. But yeah, let's go eat. Okay, open your calzón. Calzón, whoa. That is huge. This one is like a meat lover. So it has a bunch of meats and they pick what meat they wanted to put there. That was an option, so we chose that. I mean, Sergio chose that. <laughs> then I just have a pepperoni pizza here. Here we go, let's <laughs> taste it. It's very big, it's like a medium pizza in half and it's like a turnover. And this is the normal size. If you want to order the Titanic calzoni, it's like that. And you can find it on video. It's very popular. Huge! Wow, that looks super thick. Metele mano, metele mano. It looks like a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Está muy bueno. Está relleno de queso y carne. La masa se siente muy buena, bien hechecita. La intención del chef de hacerlo impredecible cuando yo viniera a comer y lo que escogió en las carnes está muy buena. We ate. It was good. I'm not full, but I'm sure you're full, right? You ate half of it. Or a little not, bit more than not half. Not super full, but the half of the calzón was the big portion. Yeah, so you always eat half or like a little bit more than half. You have leftovers. Look at this. Una canica. Wow, I haven't seen this in years. That when we were kids, we used to play with this. We are back at the house and I started painting right away the second coat of these screens. <laughs> and Sergio got right into it with the closet right here in my old room. So we're getting there, but wow, it's like so slow. Like I feel that we're slow. I don't know if we're slow or that's just complicated. I don't know, <laughs> but working, working hard. Well, we got that. Now we got the second part. Now <laughs> we're still missing a bunch of other steps here. So let's talk a little bit. Some people have asked me, what is the most difficult part of this whole house renovation here in Puerto Rico? And I would say is finding someone to work on your house, like handyman, construction people, electrician, plumber. It's just hard to find a good one. It's hard to find a responsible one, a reliable one, one that shows up. It's very difficult to go through this process. Believe me, I know but you just gotta be patient. And sometimes you even have to just settle for anyone that comes that shows up, even if they're expensive or not that great, not that responsible, you kinda stuck with that person because you don't find anyone else. So I get it, it's very hard. I found a person that I already know from childhood, so I got lucky. But I know how hard it is because managing the Airbnbs in San Juan, I have gone through so many air conditioning people, plumbers, uh, electricians, everything. It's, it's so hard to find one that says, I'm gonna show up and shows up on time and actually does the job, does the job well, and to actually come back. Because once they see that a job is difficult, they don't wanna come back to your property. Yeah, so I know it's hard, just hang in there. Just try to ask people that you know for a reference. Um, try to get it online, Facebook. That's the only thing I can really tell you to do. I've been going through it. So I'm just happy that I'm almost done. Right now, Sergio is putting that screw through this panel and this panel. So this one that is the small one, does not like move forward or you know doesn't move that it stays in place with the big one so he's doing one there and one at the bottom and we actually had to buy other screws for this because the ones that came in the bag of ikea were too short so So we 
had to buy longer ones. <laughs> We are calling it a day today because we are so tired. We still need to move this back. As you can see, the handles are missing now on this one. Everything is in there on this one. I gotta open it like this because no handles. But we put the shelves plus a longer rack. So you could put like long things. And then this one, right, has the two racks that are short. Then you have a shelf on top shelf there so this is how it's looking Ooh, soft clothes it definitely looks better with the handles because i think i already showed you the one in this room and it looks amazing by the way we have the sunset right now we've been here all freaking day look at that Wow, we got the best sunsets in Cabo Rojo. I had to come outside for the sunset because it's just beautiful. It's like fuchsia, purple, pink, yellow, blue, so many colors. Of course, Sergio couldn't leave until he goes fishing. So we just walked here. I don't think you're gonna grab anything. Good morning to me. I just got to my dad's house, right in front of my house, and the toilet was leaking water because there's nobody here. Luckily, I'm here, and this is all full of water. It was because now we're clearing it out with the squeegee, but all this was a pool, and we're just removing it, taking it this way. Luckily, I have Sergio here helping me. He always gets the worst jobs, right, Sergio? Right, always. <laughs> So he's helping me out here so I can start working back there. So he took out most of the water. I helped a little bit. Um, so he is doing this, the poor guy. This is his morning and my morning. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Luckily, luckily we're here to save the day. Cause if not, this would have been running like for weeks. <sighs> now I'm delayed over there. Can we start our morning all over again? So good morning. <laughs> so I'm back here and we're gonna work on the screens again and try to put the handles on the closet doors and whatever we can before we head back to Carolina. And these roosters and ducks and turkeys, they're driving me crazy, but I love it. <laughs> Let's go. So with the screens, you can see a little white here and here. So I gotta do that now. And this one too, you can see a little white there and throughout down here. So let's take care of that. And by the way, Sergio rescued me again. He gave me this brush he found somewhere. I don't know, his car maybe. <laughs> so I can do those little trims on the screen. So this works better. I'm trying to get some spots here. It's like so hard to get these spots. I don't know if you can see them, but I see them. And I'd rather the mesh get paint than see that white spot. Here we go, <laughs> throwing stuff out. Let's see if they take it. Right now we still have that tire there. It's been there for like a month. This, I put that there yesterday. Let's see if this lasts. This is some- um, Old is barbecue. Barbecue? What is a grill, that's a grill, yeah. a gas grill. So since the house is close to the bay, metal pieces like this get rusty, corroded easily. So my trick is to put penetrating oil or W40 on the chains so they last a little longer. So that is my tip of the day. Tears are literally coming down my face because those closets and it's just my whole morning, like I'm trying to be positive. I started positive and then the water in my dad's house and then the handles here. I'm like tired, grumpy and just, my morning not going well, just accumulated, piled up, and I'm just stressed out. I'm stressed out. For the first time, it got to me, this renovation. So, just 
just letting it all out. I'm human. But uh, I just want to cry. I just want to cry to let it out. You want to know what's the most terrible part of the whole renovation has been putting these handles. I'm drained. I'm exhausted from them. I don't want to see them anymore. Measuring this with this in the center here, in the center here. This has been a nightmare. I just, I should have put the knobs instead of handles because this is driving us insane. They're like, if they're crooked or not crooked or in the center, like horrible. So we are done with my place. I just wanted to get out of there. Now we're somewhere else. So I have a little secret. This house that you see right here might be my next project. This is Sergio's house. So I'm gonna run the project like I did with my house, but with his money this time, not mine. The mission is to have a place to stay when we come to Cabo Rojo because we're always at my sister's house. So now we're gonna have this place, have it fully equipped. And when we're not here, have it as an Airbnb. So like that, whatever money he makes, we can pay the bills for this house. So stay tuned for the finishing of my house and then this new project that hopefully it will be soon.